What's up, savvy expats? So believe it or not, the Philippines is ranked dead last once again by Global Finance Magazine in terms of the safest countries to live in. Yep. That's right, out of 134 countries, the Philippines is ranked the most dangerous, even falling behind El Salvador. But despite that, there are still without a doubt safe places to live in the Philippines. So in today's video, we're gonna be covering the top five safest places to live in the Philippines. And as always, if you wanna support the channel and get access to exclusive content, that'll all be in the link in the description down below. All right, enough talk, let's get into our list. So at number five on our list, we have Valenzuela City. Valenzuela City is a large city located in Metro Manila, north of Bo Quezon City and Manila. Being that Valenzuela City is located in Manila, this is to much of my surprise because some of the highest crime rates in the country are in Manila. For example, Quezon City has the highest overall crime rate in the Philippines, ranked at 66 out of 100. 100 being extremely dangerous. And Pasay has recently jumped in crime, ranked at 69.51 out of 100. But contrary to Quezon City and Pasay City, Valenzuela City has a much lower crime rate, ranked at 27 in its level of crime. And that's much much lower. And as for Valenzuela's safety index, that ranks at 70, which is actually good because 100 means it's really safe. Safety aspects like an increase in crime over the past three years, cars being stolen, worries of attacks, robberies, violent crimes, corruption and robbery, and lastly, prejudice attacks are all very low. And not to mention, Valenzuela City was named the safest city in Manila back in 2017. In that list of safest cities in Southeast Asia published by Numbio, Singapore was at the number one spot and third to that was was Valenzuela City and second to that was Davao being ahead of Valenzuela. The safety index for Valenzuela City was at 75 out of 100 that year. And the mayor of that city, Rex Gachalian, has a lot to do with the city being in order. For starters, this 41-year-old mayor has the highest approval rating among mayors in Metro Manila. According to an ABS-CBN article, Rex demands order in most things. He demands it from himself and from the people around him. And from his own words, Rex says, It makes me sleep more soundly knowing that I've done my job rather than wait for tomorrow because tomorrow might have a different story. Man, if only all Philippine politicians would have the same mindset. Because I'll tell you, the majority of Philippine politicians will not only put off their promises as soon as they get into office, but they'll also rarely take any action to improve their city. And of course, most Philippine politicians will dig their hands into the pockets of their citizens, hence the corruption that we face here in the Philippines today. If all Philippine politicians would have the same meticulous mindset as Mayor Rex, then it goes without saying that the Philippines would have a whole different story written right now. And making Valenzuela a safe and livable city is one of the top priorities of the local government. Things like providing police vehicles, training enhancement for police forces, and the cooperation of its citizens are all done to remain a peaceful city. And as for how safe the people feel walking in Valenzuela during the daylight, they feel highly safe, ranking that category at 85. And walking alone at night, people also feel safe, ranking that category at 67. As for the poverty rate in Valenzuela, 22% are in poverty, with 13% having insufficient income for basic necessities. And that's out of 620,000 people that live in Valenzuela. So overall, Overall, Valenzuela City, according to statistics and articles, is a very safe and peaceful city to live in. Of course, there are still crimes that occur, but it's much less to the degree of places in Manila like Quezon and Pasay. At the end of the day, just avoid sketchy areas and be aware of your surroundings. Now, at number 4 on our list of safest places to live in the Philippines, we have Bohol. Bohol Island is a province in the Philippines located in the central Visayas region. You may have heard of Bohol from its breathtaking chocolate hills, spiky caves, or its hanging bamboo bridge. But of all those things, Bohol especially takes pride in their low crime rates. As far as their level of crime, it's ranked incredibly low at 7. And in terms of Bohol's safety index, that's ranked at 88, meaning that it's very safe. And over the past three years, crime has been increasing at a low rate. Worries of homes being broken into, things being stolen, attacks, robberies, violence, and corruption are all at a low. And in terms of worries of being attacked due to race, religion, and ethnicity, that is at a complete zero. Same is the case with being insulted. And so based off these statistics, you can likely guess that the Baholano people are good people in general. And as a matter of fact, they're actually known to be law-abiding, hospitable, God-fearing, humble people. And by the way, over 90% of the population are in the Christian faith. But going back to the Numbio statistics, 
use. One thing that I was impressed by was the safety of walking alone during daylight category. Bahol is so safe that it's ranked at a 100 in terms of walking alone during the daylight and when it comes to walking at nighttime, that's ranked at an 85. This is especially nice because there are many safe places to live in the Philippines as long as you go about your business during the daylight, but as soon as night comes, then you better watch your back. And though you have to watch your back no matter where you are in the Philippines, whether it be Bahol or Valenzuela City, it's comforting to know that the people feel safe walking at night in these two places. And earlier this year, from February to May, crime went down by 32%. And so in the beginning of 2020, from January to April, crimes reached to a total of 3,088. This dropped down by 32%, where at the beginning of this year, crimes dropped down to 2,037 cases. And keep in mind that out of these 2,037 cases, 1,200 of them were peace and order incidents. As for the remaining cases, those were public safety incidents. So all in all, Bahol is a safe place, but just like any other place in the Philippines, don't flounder your wealth, jewelry, or avoid going to the ATM at nighttime. And these are just basic things that you savvy expats probably already know. And if anything, you have more to worry about natural disasters than being a victim of a heinous crime. After the recent Typhoon Odette that just came through the Philippines, at least 96 people died due to the disasters. And in 2013, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake shook up Bohol, leaving 195 people dead and tons of buildings demolished. All right, now at number three on our list, we have a province in the Philippines that claims to have zero crime rate. Yep, you heard me right, zero. And that place is Batanes. Batanes is an archipelagic island in the Philippines consisting of 10 islands with only three being occupied. But what's unique about Batanes is that it's the northernmost island in all of the Philippines. Not only that, but it's also the smallest island in both land area and population. And so at this point, you're probably thinking, well, Evan, of course it's got the lowest crime rate. It's highly secluded and it's only got a population of 18,000 people. And I got you, but I nevertheless added it to this list because it's still a safe place to live. Yes, there's probably no one around you to mug or steal from you, but its low population is actually what makes Batanes such a peaceful location. You think about places like Cebu, Dumaguete, Tagaytay, Baguio, and you probably wish that these places wouldn't have become so overcrowded. But the beauty of Batanes is that it's not as talked about and neither is it compromised with tons of tourists and trash. In other words, its natural Philippine beauty hasn't been defiled yet, unlike many other places here in the Philippines. But it's not just the fact that the islands are so secluded that makes up its zero crime rate, it's also the people. The people of Batanes, the Ivatans, are so honest like Quaker to the point where they have an honesty coffee shop where people are able to buy goods without staff to attend to it. No employees, no cashiers, to me, that's just mind blowing. Nowadays, seeing robberies in the US have become so normal, so to see a shop like this exist in the world just goes to show that there are still good people out there. And not only is it the genuineness and honesty of the people that make Batana such a great place, but it's also the respect for the land. Kind of like how there's Native American reservations in the US, Batanas is recognized as the ancestral domain of the Ivatans. So unless you're an Ivatan or you marry one, you can't own property in Batanas. The land is declared by law a protected area and is also covered covered by the Indigenous Peoples Rights Act. So you can imagine that most people moving to Batanes will have respect for the land and its people and not go around committing crimes. With that being said, violent crime is almost unheard of on the island and petty theft is a very rare occurrence. You can literally leave your bag or backpack on the ground for one hour, come back and it'll still be there. But minor crimes still do occur. Maybe about 20 crimes in the whole year will happen, but nothing too serious enough to take to the courts. And the majority of the people seem to be making an honest living. The Avatans make a living off fishing, raising crops, and cattle. And not to mention, there are no armed gangs, rebels, beggars, and there's a 0% poverty rate in Batanas. So this makes Batanas the only province in the Philippines to have a 0% poverty rate. But although this dreamy province with lush rolling meadows and beautiful coastlines may seem perfect, it's not. Alcohol consumption among the Ivatans is very high, especially when it gets to rainy season and it gets cold and the Ivatans drink to warm themselves up. So Batanas isn't perfect, but combining the lush greenery, unique Ireland looking scenery, lighthouses, 
and beautiful coastline views, but Tanis would make a great place to visit. Now, at number two on our list, we have Ormac City. Ormac City is a coastal port city on the island of Leyte, central in the Philippines. In 2018, Ormac had the lowest crime rate across the entire country with only 134 crimes in total for the whole year. And this can be attributed to the active involvement of the police and residents in the community. It's encouraged that no matter how small a crime may be, that it's reported to keep crime levels at a low. And so the local government and former actor now turned mayor Richard Gomez works hard to keep its name as the safest city in the Philippines. And Richard Gomez even rubbed it in Lenny Roberto's face who was a politician from Naga City saying, While Naga City has the highest crime rate, our own beloved Ormac City has the lowest crime rate in the Philippines. Burn! Take that Lenny Roberto, that's what she gets for those 15 second unskippable ads that I have to watch every single time I go on YouTube. Ngayon ano bang takot mo? Putong? Walang trabaho? COVID? It's the election season right now, so all these ads from her. But what's impressive about Ormoc City is the immense transformation it took to get to this point. In 2016, Ormoc City went from being known as the drug capital of Eastern Visayas to being the first city in the region to be declared drug free. So Gomez definitely takes the initiative to weed out the drug lords and drug trading. Overall, not much else to say about Ormoc other than it's being cleaned up and it's a much safer place now. And now what you've been waiting for, the number one safest place in the Philippines goes to, Jumbo please. Davao. Yes, you probably already guessed from the get-go being that Davao has a reputation for being the safest city not only in the Philippines but in all of Southeast Asia. Davao was ranked the safest city in all of Southeast Asia just falling behind Singapore. And Davao was also declared the fourth safest city out of 349 other cities across the world. Thanks to the strict local government, Davao has managed to keep its crime levels low, which is actually one of the main reasons why Westerners feel safe moving to this city on the southeastern part of Mindanao. And as for its crime index, it's ranked low at 27 and its safety index ranked at 72. And in all categories of safety in Davao, from more ways of being attacked, robbed, mugged, all of these categories are low. People also feel safe walking around during both the day and nighttime. So this quickly developing city has been an attraction to many due to its safety of living there and its commercialization in recent years. But let's talk about why Davao is the safest place to live in the Philippines. Number one, rules are strictly implemented in the city. When you go out, you'll see men in uniforms with radar guns pointed at your vehicle. When you go to People's Park, you'll see many pens, pencils, and pointy items at the entrance because they were confiscated. When you go drinking at the bar, they won't allow you to order alcohol past midnight. And not to mention, before he became president, Rodrigo Duterte was the former iron-fisted mayor of Davao. Over the course of two decades of being mayor of Davao, Duterte was hard on crime, especially on drug lords. It's said that he, leading the Davao Death Squad, killed thousands of drug pushers and criminals. From 1998 to 2015, the Davao Death Squad allegedly killed over 1,400 petty criminals and drug pushers. Back in 2009, Duterte told reporters, if you are doing an illegal activity in my city, if you are a criminal or part of a syndicate that preys on the innocent people of the city, for as long as I am the mayor, you are a legitimate target of assassination. So it's made obvious that Duterte is not messing around when it comes to crime in his city. In another article in The Atlantic where a reporter and Duterte were riding around the streets of Davao, this is what it says. There was a notorious drug dealer, Duterte said, who had been rushed to the local hospital, wounded and bloodied following a shootout with the police. The drug dealer was still alive, he said, so he went to the hospital and unplugged the life support system. So that tells you all you need to know about the man. It was the strict enforcement of executing drug lords and criminals that turned Davao into the once so-called murder city into one of the safest cities in all the Philippines and Southeast Asia to this day. The second reason why Davao is the safest city in the Philippines is because the city's 911 team is highly efficient. While there are other police hotlines across the country, Davao has the most efficient one. Other police hotlines will make you wait and require extra call credits to connect, while Davao is completely free and accessible from all landlines. And the third reason why Davao is safe is because there is no place for criminals in the city. While violence and crime is always on national news, Davao local news features drug pushers and addicts being 
killed on a daily basis. So to sum it up, Davos crime level is extremely low due to the strict law enforcement from the local government making it the safe city that it is today. And so thank you for watching Savvy Expats. That is five of the safest places to live in the Philippines. Be sure to let me know if I left any out. And if you want to see a video on retirement in Iloilo next, let's get this video to 1000 likes. Alright, thank you for watching Savvy Expats and I'll see you in the next one. God bless. <music>